All right, welcome back. Well, if you've ever ventured around the woods, you might have crossed paths with a deer or a wild turkey, but chances are you won't find a moose. Well, there actually is one place you can find a moose right here in Macon, and it happens to be on a baseball diamond. When you walk through Luther Williams Field, you're bound to see Kevin, the mascot. But every once in a while, you might even spot some antlers. That's because of one guy. Jackson Moose Joe. Parents gave me that nickname when I was little, so I've been called Moose ever since I was born, pretty much. Jones is from Marietta, but for the summer, the Moose has a new habitat in Macon, and he's not roaming the field by himself. Uh, Tyler, our marketing director, came in one day and was just like, you guys are having fun with the nickname Moose, we got you some hats, so uh, wear them and cheer for them loud. He and I were just kind of going back and forth, looking on Google for some silly Moose hats to wear, and we stumbled upon these things. Yeah, just kind of definitely has blown up into a whole, you know, stadium-wide thing now. Moose Jones! Oh, it was really cool. It was really great to see the city of Macon standing behind our players like that and really supporting us, especially Moose like that one. He just comes up and you just hear everybody yelling Moose from the stands. You know, it's kind of like what you see on TV all the time, so it's, it's pretty exhilarating. And Jones will tell you the Moose really ran wild in Macon with one special at bat. Uh, the first time it happened actually was after I hit a home run. Which happened to be the first Macon Bacon homer at this stadium. You know, when he hit his first home run, it was definitely a goosebumps moment. Um, you like see these movies and see these moments in movies where, you know, the ball's flying out of the park and everyone's chanting and you get goosebumps in the theater and now being a part of it, it was just awesome to see the fans interact and really get to be a part of something special like that. The nickname and the antlers are here to stay. When you look around, I mean, these hats are kind of ridiculous and they're funny looking, but uh, just to know that, like, you know, the nickname is kind of like a thing that's becoming popular around here, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So next time you check out the bacon, be on the lookout for the moose that's on the loose. All right, the moose from Marietta plays baseball at Young Harris College. So staying with the bacon, a couple of players found out today they've made the Coastal Plain All-Star Game. Third baseman Riley King and pitcher James Williams have made the national team All-Star roster. And if you vote, there's a chance Andres Perez can also join his teammates on the national squad. You can vote on the Coastal Plain League website.